Hi there, I'm Michael Hernandez with the Foundation for Law and Government for Disabled Veterans. And today's uh, update is dated October 10th, 2011. Uh, I wanted to update you on what I've been doing so far. Sorry for the delay on the new update. Um, I've uh, been trying to merge with Project, uh, the Jericho Project. They're a nonprofit organization here in the Bronx in New York that uh, builds homes for veterans. And um, recently, um, I've been working with the director, Tori Lyons, and uh, merging with her, her nonprofit organization to uh, forward that project. I've recently, um, right here, Uh, got this uh, newspaper clipping on the uh, Bronx Courthouse on the 161st Street in the Bronx. And it states that uh, the courthouse is in shambles and then the, the courthouse has been in, uh, in existence for four years. And then within those four years, it's been investigated every year. The contractors in there are diverting the money away from uh, keeping the building's maintenance up to date. There's uh, floods, electricity going out, elevators clamping on, on people's arms and legs. So it's being investigated. It's being investigated by Councilman Oliver uh, Capel, a Bronx uh, uh, Democrat. And I called him and I uh, asked him if I could have an appointment with him to speak to him about my nonprofit organization along with others, with the Jericho Project and others, to take over that building for office space so we could forward our projects. And uh, we'll, we'll take care of the cost. So I have a, an appointment with him uh, October 27th downtown. And um, hopefully um, I could talk to him and uh, we can uh, see if we can work something out where we could take over the building or maybe at least one of the floors. Um, it's not a federal building. It's a federal court building, but it's a state level building. So I called the GSA and they said that that's a state building and, and there's nothing where they're gonna um, give it up to the GSA. That would have been that would have made my job a lot easier, but. Um, either way, I'm going to, um, go downtown and have that, uh, uh, interview with, uh, um, Miss, uh, uh, Councilman Capel and, um, talk to him about taking over the property, this property right here. It's on, the address is 265 East 161st Street is the criminal court building. And um, let's see what happens. And if we could take over that building, um, uh, uh, I have a lot of ideas for it. Um, like uh, instead of relying on the city's uh, uh, con ed to give us power, we could probably uh, put solar panels on the roof to cut our costs, bring in other nonprofit organizations, um, and uh, uh, things like that. Just a few ideas I had that might help. And uh, that's about it. And uh, thank you for all your emails that you've been sending me to my comments, checking out my uh, other sites, information and donations, um, everything that, you, uh, that, that you've that you been helping me with. Uh, I, I appreciate it so much, the support and everything. And uh, continue seeing my site and um, I'll try to keep it up to date regularly uh, every chance I get. I have more time now. As you can see, I I built my office, and it is a small office out of my home. Uh, and hopefully, I can get the um, space over there and uh, the criminal court building, and have a bigger space there. And uh, thank you for all your help, and um, keep looking at my site. And uh, remember, support your veterans, and they're the backbone of our country. They're the true oath keepers, and. Uh, 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 stay loyal to your country, pray to God, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. God bless you.